Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. Welcome to In The Field. Thanks for joining me today. Well, today's video is a sunrise payoff. And I, I say that because sunrise didn't look like it was going to do that much. And in the end, it turned out to be a really nice morning. Got some, some bits of color in the sky. Great wave action out at the rocks. Let me just get you out to La Jolla with me. It was a really early start. It was very dark when I began. And I'll just share this morning with you as it unfolded. Enjoy. I'll see you again soon. Have fun. I was hoping for a little more, a little more intimacy with this area here. I'm not going to get into that. The surge comes through every once in a while. It's kind of nice. All right, let me check up farther up the beach. This group right here has got some piranhas. Since there's not much happening up in the sky, this could make some good stuff. And the surf's really got some uh, some heft to it. I need to take a step back. A couple of the oh, hello. That is just a good spot for a lot of interaction with the with the tide. There's a few uh, rocks behind me that are really getting some nice action with the water. So I'm going to set up a little bit farther removed so I can reach in a bit and uh, not uh, not lose another camera to this stretch of coast. Done that once. Not going to do it again this morning. Right, I'm going to position myself a little higher on the tripod and uh, angle down at this set of rocks here. That'll also give the camera some height, less likely for it to get splashed because, yeah, some of the churn on these waves, it's throwing up spray as tall as me. Man, it is really choppy this morning. All right, let's figure this out. This is the 24 to 70. I don't need any filters right now at all. There's actually a hint of clouds out there now that I see. Let's see here. Yeah, 24 to 70 is fine. I do not need to be ultra wide. I am going to keep a little bit of distance here so that I have some margin of safety. Wow, that screen's bright when you're not in the, the daylight here. I get a little tighter on this group here. All right, I've got a focus lock, which is awesome. I'm at F4 and I'm already getting a 10 second exposure. So. Yeah, this is going to be a, this is going to be a morning of of long exposures. So I have to heat up the battery in my little remote here, otherwise it fails to trigger a lot of times. So what I want is I want a surge of water around this this rock here. And now because of the long exposure right now, it's just going to be um, it's probably going to be more rock than than, than wave. Or uh, than, than ocean. I think I want to tighten up this comp a little bit. Let's let's fire that one off. And my remote's still not working. So let's see. I fire it off. I gotta time these waves. It breaks. Three, four, five. So about five seconds from when the wave is breaking to when it starts to hit these rocks. So probably fire it off about three seconds after I see the break. And that will give me the most amount of whitewash in the scene there. It's not bad. I'll need to modify that comp a little bit. Let's rotate a little bit camera left. I got a nice two breaks coming in right now. So reset the focus. Got it. And since I got a 10 second, I'm going to just launch it now. All right, got some good wash on that one. Oh, those ones died out. huh? All right, here comes a nice set. Let's, here we go. Firing, but it's filling in nicely, swirling around a bit, slowly creeping up the aperture, or I should say stopping down the aperture. I'm at five, six now. I'm, I'm trying to keep that area of six to eight seconds. That seems to be working well for this set of rocks. You know, as much as uh, I didn't want to get wet this morning, I've kind of already done so. I wouldn't mind another nice hit on this rock face I'm standing on, just to fill in a little foreground of this composition. I keep scanning the beach, 
see if I need to change up to another composition. That's still pretty dim to the south. All right, here's a few. We've got a few coming in. Come on. Give me something that's going to pop over the top here. We're going up to F8 now, keeping it at that eight seconds. Yeah, still no need for filters at all. <laughs> just need some surf right now. I'm still waiting for that one wave to give me something here in the foreground. Oh, I shouldn't say foreground. I've got a sliver of rock here, but just think a nice splash on the front would round out the composition nicely. Mm, that one didn't quite do it. My exposure's already creeped back up to five seconds just in a few minutes as the ambient light's rising up. All right, well, I think I beat this to death, so it's uh, time to move to another composition. A little farther down, there's some orange glow down the, uh, the southern end of the, the beach there. Looks pretty good. We'll give it a try. I know I've shot this so many times before. The tide's at such a good level for it. I, I can't resist. I gotta get a couple more of these. All right, this one I'm gonna switch up to the wide angle. I'm gonna have to get closer, honestly, for that though the tip of this thing really make it powerful oh. all right let's dial in f8 it's still pretty dim so i don't need the filters that was a nice spill over that i uh, i don't normally shoot it at this high of an angle it's really biasing toward a lot of rock in the foreground. Um, I'll grab a couple here. That side's good, this side's empty. I need more action there. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like it. I, uh, I don't know. Now, let me get a couple more and then, uh, and then change things up. Okay, get some whitewash over there. That's gonna make a nice spill. White wash on that side. Now I got plenty of wash in both channels. Half a second exposure. That's pretty swirly and kind of nice. Oh, that last one's nice. That last one, water's kind of nice and calm, feeding in pretty well. Uh, yeah, all right, now I'm gonna creep forward more. Uh, although the video camera's staying back there, so I'm gonna be tiny in the frame now, but this is gonna how it has to be. I gotta protect this equipment. We're at half a second, F8. That's a good one right there, and I missed it. I didn't have my remote in my hand. Okay, here we go. Boom. Oh, I got a little bit on the front of the rock there. Nice, that's it, keep going. Go, go. I'm not gonna do any better than that. That's the one. Yeah, that's, that's not getting any better. The light's coming up now, and you know, I have to say I've gotten three or four photos I think I'm gonna be very happy with. That last one out on uh, what I'll call the classic here at, at Hospitals Reef, that, that, I guess that one's looking really, really nice. Uh, I think I'm just gonna wander up to the northern part of the, uh, the reef behind me, maybe find a couple more like, intimate sets of rocks, just to just have a little fun this morning and uh, that's gonna become me time with the camera. I'm gonna shut down all the video gear and then just, uh, just enjoy the rest of the morning here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>